and the night was all about honoring the female athletes, and one lucky young lady received a scholarship. Our Kayla Solomon joins us in studio to tell us all about it. Chelsea, that young woman is senior sprinter April Rogers, and she says she was a late bloomer when it came to running track. I first started running track in eighth grade. I'm an Army brat, so a lot of the schools didn't have sports in middle school, but in eighth grade they uh, made a track team and I went out there and tried out for it. Growing up, April Rogers says she was always one of the fastest on the playground, and when she joined the track team, she wanted to try all the events. Well, I first started with the one and two, those are been my primary ones. I also did long jump, but in eighth grade, I was not good at it, so I, my coach was like, no, we're not putting her in that anymore. But she tried again in high school, and now she competes in all three events in college. Now she's heading into her final cross country and track seasons, and she is one of the 100 Women in Gold scholarship recipients. You know, it's almost like winning the lottery. You're like, dang, are those really my numbers? You know, so because a lot of people apply to the scholarships. April is not only thankful to receive this scholarship money, but she had the chance to meet and introduce track legend Carmelita Jetter at the award banquet. So for some runners, you consider me being late. Most athletes start running when they're like seven and eight, and I didn't start till I was 14, but mostly just because someone else saw that I was super talented in running and wanted me to go ahead and try it. For Jetter, it's a chance to tell these athletes that they can achieve anything, even winning an Olympic gold medal or breaking a world record. Think of the highest accolade that you ever achieved. Either it's having your first child or getting married or graduating from college. And then you can kind of understand how we felt breaking the world record. Now Jetter is currently an assistant track head coach at Missouri State University and says she loves giving back to all women athletes. Chelsea, back to you. All right, thank you, Kayla. 100 Women in Gold started at Fort Valley State University back in 2010.